What's up guys, Totally Dubbed here, and today I'm going to show you uh, a guide on how to uh, install the F1 Galaxy uh, S2 V6 uh, by Far Yab, uh, found on the XDA uh, forums. So first of all, um, as it's based on JVP, and I'm on JVQ currently, I'm going to flash to stock JVP. So what, uh, what I'm going to do here on this video is show you to how to come from a Froyo based, um, a JVQ based, any sort of base. Um, so this is the best way of, of installing it and a good clean install. So first of all we want to go into recovery as you can see I can't really do it there. Uh, but we're going to go into recovery and wipe everything um, but just before we do that we're going to disable Voodoo. So in he on here I know I've got Voodoo enabled and if you don't have Voodoo enabled then you can skip this step but what you want to do is make sure that your Voodoo is disabled before you do anything else. So uh, as I said I'm going to disable Voodoo first. But before we do that we're first going to check Voodoo. So as I said you can skip this if you haven't got Voodoo on. So disable Voodoo, disable Voodoo and once we've done that you want to reboot. So I'll get back to you guys after it's just rebooted. Right, so after the uh, phone's rebooted, uh, turn off the phone and go back into recovery, just as I uh, done before. And just to show you, Voodoo is disabled. It says disabled, disabled, no and no, as you can see there. And so now we're going to go back, and now we're going to do the factory reset. And we're going to wipe cache and wipe the Dalvik cache as well. And uh, once we've done that, we're going to want to install JVP stock. So wipe cache and advanced wipe Dalvik cache. There we go. Now, just go to the power off. If you haven't got that power off thing, which I'll show you now. Yeah, the best way to do it is to take out your battery. There you go. I did that as well. But you can hit that power off button as well. There's no, there's no problem. So I'm just doing that just in case people are on a different recovery and uh, not on beautiful Facetta's recovery. So then, what we're going to do is go into download mode. So down on the volume and get some um, download mode. So now we want to open up Odin. So I'm going to take you up to the PC. And uh, as you can see, I've already got everything um, done over here, but uh, I'm going to do it again for you guys just to see how to do it. But uh, in the meanwhile, I'm going to plug in my phone, which it comes up with COM7, and I'm going to hit start. So There's going to be four files in there. So now I'm going to show you what you have to put in. So first of all, you go to PIT, and you can see repartitions is unticked, but as soon as you put PIT in, it ticks it automatically. Then you go to PDA, and over here you can see three different files. Your PDA is going to be the one which says code. Your phone is going to be the one which says modem. And your CSE is obviously going to be the one which says multi CSE. And there you go, then you've got the four files, and you end up something like, um, like the one I've got right next to it over here. So once you've done that, just hit start. And um, here you go, it's doing all this stuff. So I'll get back to you guys after Odin is finished. Right, so after Odin is finished, it took uh, 2 minutes uh, 80, <laughs> so to speak. And uh, so now I'm going to take you down to the phone. As you can see, it's multi CSC, so I'm going to select Virgin right there. And so we're just going to quickly go through setup. Uh, you can unplug your phone as well. And there we go, we're on Gingerbread JVP, JVP baseband. So check. There you go, you're on JVP. So now what we're going to do is uh, install uh, CF root. Right, to flash uh, CF root, what we're going to do is uh, flash it via Odin. Uh, I was just trying to think if I could do it via SGS kernel flasher, but obviously we're not rooted because we're on a stock. Uh, stock firmware so it's not going to be there so what we're going to do is go back into download mode so we're going to turn off the phone and whilst that's doing that we've got to the PC and what you're going to do is open up the Odin that JVP came with so that's 1.8 in this case 
or else you can use 1.7, 1.3, whatever suits you best. And you can see over here the, the PDA section. And make sure you select the right folder, as you can see it's over there. So go to desktop. And let's see if I can find it. All right, of course, I forgot to extract the file. I was wondering why I couldn't find CF root. So um, when you've downloaded CF root, it'll come in a um, zip file, and we want to unzip it. Uh, we're going to unzip that to the desktop. And the one to get is the JVP. So uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm on the on file. So you can see I'm on the CF root, which obviously I'll link down on the description. Sorry for zoomed in. I completely forgot. And um, I'm going to just control F and put JVP. As soon as I put JVP, there's two results which come up. And that's version 3.7. It's down over here. Um, let's see if you can, uh, as you can see there, version 3.7. So um, that's the one we want, and so once you download that, you want to extract the file, and you'll get a uh, you'll get a file which is should be .tar. So let's see the PDA. Go to desktop. Let's go to that CF root folder that we just did, and there it is. See that? CF root. It's the folder. That's the file within the folder. Open that. We want to leave uh, repartition unticked. And so now we're going to go back to the phone and go into download mode. To do this, you go down, home, and button, and power button, sorry. So you go into download mode, and we're going to connect that in. And the phone's it's going to be recognized over there. So make sure you've got repartition unticked. On your PDA section, you've got CF root, OXA, JVP, 3.7.tar. Uh, obviously I'm not saying everything and then just hit start and this should be really quick usually and there we go um, the reason we're doing CF root is because it's the closest to stock so um, we don't need anything else uh, we just need to go into um, clock um, yeah, clockwork so um, we just need to go into recovery sorry so um, that's the only reason we are uh, flashing a different kernel except for the stock one so uh, now I'm going to go back to the phone and uh, we're just going to wait for it to reboot. There you go, as you can see it's rebooted, so you can unplug it. And there we go, go down to about phone. That's what you're going to get. Right, so now what we're going to do is uh, go into the internal SD card. Uh, well, put it into the internal SD card just to make mine um, completely wiped because there'll probably be like darky folders and whatnot inside. I'm just going to format the USB. You don't have to do this, but uh, I'm doing this so it's much easier for me to explain. Uh, and then we want to make sure USB debugging mode is ticked, which is in application development USB debugging mode right there. So it wasn't ticked. It's good that I remember that. And then we're going to connect the phone on. Sometimes if your phone doesn't recognize it, try changing USB ports, try unticking and reticking um, USB debugging mode several times and it should work. So uh, there we go, we can close Odin of course. And there you go, that's my internal SD card right there. And um, what you want to do is download the, uh, the file. So where is the... Right, there we go. We want to download the F1 uh, V6. So I've got the white version over here. Uh, you can get the non-white version, but if you're coming from JVP, um, uh, J yeah, JVP, it's kind of pointless anyway. So um, it's no it's no need to uh, not wipe, so to speak. So um, might as well go for the white version to get a nice clean install. desktop as well. Right, so as you can see it's just an internal SD card and uh, another thing we want to do is uh, get Dark Core 2.8 and that is over here. There we go. Right, so now we can close all of that and untick that. 
go back to the phone. We can unplug it. And now we're going to go into clockwork. So we're going to turn this off. Put my uh, silicon protection back on. It's amazing to think it's got a screen protector on. You can hardly see it. <laughs> I'm going to go up, power, and home. Should vibrate any time now. Zoom out a little bit. There we go. As you can see, we're in clockwork. So this wouldn't be there if it wasn't for CF root. So that's the reason we did it. So we're going to go to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and F1 V6. So I'll wait for that to install, and I'll get back to you guys after it's installed. Right, so once it's done that, you want to go back, and then reboot system now. So we're just going to wait for it to reboot. Right, so after it's rebooted, we can go through uh, setup, our phone, 2.3.4, JVP, F1 S2 V6, Dark Core 2.7.3 JVP. So um, I'm going to flash uh, 2.8 um, uh, as instructed. So, um, yeah, to flash over uh, uh, JVP to, well, 2.8, first I'm going to check if I've got SU. Yeah, I do, so that's fine. So what we're going to do is do it via the SGS kernel flash away. So I'm going to just sign in quickly. And that's why I looked for SU, because you need um, super user, but uh, that comes with the ROM, which is perfect. So we're going to choose kernel. And if you remember, we put it into the internal SD card. There it is, dark core 2.8. And we're going to just flash kernel. And so there we are, we're booted up. I'm on dark core 2.8, F1 Galaxy S2 V6, and JVP. So, one other thing I'm going to do show you that I'm on JVP indeed. And another thing I want to do is check my uh, CSC. So, we're going to do that followed by IEMI and hash. Hash? H? You know what I mean? And there we go. After that, as you can see, I'm on KOR. There you go, I'm on KOR. And what we want to do is put XEU, seeing as I'm in the EU. Um, <laughs> this is the best one to use for UK. So make sure you do that as well, then, guys, because on Dark uh, on uh, Darkies 10.1, you can't do that. And um, it means that I've got T Mobile up there instead of Virgin. Um, so do that as well. Uh, as we can do it, so it's uh, might as well put yourself on the right CSC. Unless you want to be on Korean CSC, then that's fine. Uh, but uh, <laughs> if you can, you might as well. The reason you do this now, by the way, is because it gives you a, a factory reset. So um, if you install some apps, for example, SGS Kernel Flasher, it will be uninstalled. So um, that's why you want to do it the first thing. So I've installed Dark Core. After I finish that, straight onto this. If I don't, if this doesn't work. Uh, like in 10.1, then continue installing your apps or whatnot. So um, there we go, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, and if you've got any questions, please do post them below. And uh, obviously, you can ask on the XDA thread. I'll link all the uh, links to the uh, in the description. Um, <laughs> in the description of the video so if you need any of the links download links or um, explanation of anything it'll be in the in the description so please do check it out it's going to be below right see you guys totally dubbed out bye bye